Hey, what's up? First, I want to do a big shout out to Ty Lord Stevenson, if that is his real name. I don't know. But it is the name of his YouTube channel. Check him out. He's been watching like all my stuff, like all the interviews I've done, the movie reviews I've done. And he's uh, one of the reasons I want to keep doing movie reviews. Like I said, for a while, I kind of stopped doing them. And I had comments disabled because I got people making uh, fucking jokes about all the weight I gained. Well, you know, you'd gain a lot of weight, too, if you had fucking kidney removal for torn muscles and COVID. It happens to the best of us. I'm down about 40, but I'll get down more. Because I'm finally at, like, full strength now. But when I had the COVID, I couldn't even watch TV. It sucked. I just laid in bed and I listened to my phone. I mean, I couldn't turn on TV. I had pretty bad. I didn't have the respiratory, but I had a pretty bad case of it knocking on my ass. That stuff's no joke. I don't want it ever again. It sucks. Get your vax. Get your booster. If you don't want to do that, that's cool. That's your choice. Just be careful. I'm telling you, it's nasty business. What I did, all those days I was sick, I just, like I said, I listened to my phone. I listened to YouTube. And I was like, man, this is so nice. All these people that are making this stuff, they're amusing me. And I want to give back, and I want to start making things. That's why the channel gets updated. I try to update it daily. There's that phone. Oh, I tell you, I had my first whatnot auction today. Man, if you were at my whatnot auction today, thank you so much for your support. I unfortunately I didn't have the comments enabled. That was a, I had the chat turned off. I don't know how I did it. I messed up, but uh, big success. I sold out in like an hour. Uh, get ready for another one. But I'm here now. Another action movie review. And this one we're going to look at. I'm showing you this. This is the media book. German media book. The Martial Law Trilogy. Now, this is number... Da -dum -da -dum. Usually they're numbered. Is this numbered? Nah, if it is, I don't know where to look. Anyway, the Martial Law Trilogy is... It, it's, they consider it three movies, but it's really two. It's Martial Law 1, Martial Law 2 Undercover. And then there was... Some people call it Martial Law 3. What it really is is a movie called Mission of Justice. The greatest direct-to-video action movie ever made, hands down, bar none. Stick to fork them is done. There's nothing better than Mission of Justice. One of the greatest action movies ever made. 89 minutes, 80 of it is Kung Fu action. I don't consider it part of the trilogy, but I'll tell you what. I sure did in this case because this is the only way you're going to get this movie on Blu-ray. That's one about the only ways you're going to get that movie, period. Uh, Region 1, good luck. Mostly bootlegs floating around in there. The two martial laws, 1 and 2, which are good movies. I'll talk about them in a second. You can get, uh, well, Vinegar Syndrome had them last year. I don't know if you can get them direct from Vinegar anymore. Uh, you should be able to find them secondary. Finding the DVDs, uh, not too hard, but I'm a couple bucks. Those two you can source here in the States. Mission of Justice, you're going to have to go Region B for that because it's, it's tricky to get, but it's worth it. So this is a sweet book. You know, it's the German media book. And here's Martial Law 1, Martial Law 2 to Blu-ray. And it, like all these media books, comes with all the little the gimmicks, you know, the little linear notes, you know. And I mean, these linear notes, uh, I don't read German. I took German. I got kicked out of on like pictures in my book anyway you know a lot of behind the scenes pictures a lot of words i can't read and there it is they call it martial law three i call it mission of justice they give you the dvd of mission of justice and the blu-ray i'll talk about that in a minute so martial law is chad mcqueen and i think it's chad mcqueen is it chad yeah because it's not steven and cynthia rothrock and they're part of the martial law what means is they're cops that know martial arts and they tangle in the first one with David Carradine. And David Carradine, he sells drugs and luxury cars. I know. That is a weird combination. But he's also the master of Kung Fu. David Carradine. Young David Carradine. This is 90s straight to the action. And, well, I would say young. I was like, David Carradine ever young? Not Bill David Carradine, younger David Carradine. I like David Carradine in Big Stan. Watch Big Stan. I'll do a review of that, too. Anyway, they have to stop this luxury car theft ring that sells narcotics, and they use their martial arts skills. 
it's Rothrock. I mean, you don't go wrong with Rothrock. You don't believe me that Cynthia Rothrock's one of the sweetest women in the world? I interviewed her. The interview's on here. Cynthia Rothrock is awesome. I interviewed Richard Norton. I said, God, I would love to interview Cynthia Rothrock. He said, well, I'll, I'll give you your email. Two days later, she got in contact with me. I've talked to her a few times since. Nicest lady. The woman is aging in reverse. I mean, follow her on Facebook. She's always doing something. Uh, I live my life vicariously sometimes, I think, through her adventures. But anyway, she's on fire in this movie. She's the star of the movie. I mean, that's where it was going. It's a good movie. I give it two and a half stars. Martial Law 2 Undercover. We got Rita McQueen, dead weight. We got Jeff Wincott, the man, let me tell you. And Wincott and her, they're part of the Martial Law Karate Cop team. Well, he gets transferred to another precinct, and his buddy that he hadn't seen in 10 years, but they like reconnect like that and become best friends, he's doing some dirty dealings for a guy. And he's about to do the expo on the whole, going to bring down all the corruption. He gets killed, and Wincott sees a book of matches, and he says, no. Nope. No, nope. the guy told me, even though I haven't seen this guy since the police academy 15 years ago, he told me he doesn't drink anymore, and even though I haven't talked to him 20 years, he's not. He's telling me the truth. He's not lying. I'm on the case. And so him, and uh, he calls Rothrock, says, why don't you help me? She goes undercover in this dude's bar. And forgive me for forgetting the dude's name. He was on 90210. Not a very imposing bad guy. He's doing some underground fighting in his bar. He's uh, blackmailing the cops, you know, to get money, I guess. I don't fucking know, but... They have to stop, and Wincott's just awesome. Ah, uh, yes, I'm very thirsty, and I still, it's not beer, but up here it is. Anywho, now I'm all wet and gross. Anywho, Mission of Justice, the greatest straight-to-video action ever. Jeff Wincott's a cop, and in the beginning, he busts some guy. For beating his woman and they haul him in and the cop the captain lets the guy go because he's a snitch and he punches the captain and he runs no, I don't punch captain he runs out he goes to grab the guy and the guy is back at his girlfriend's house murders him when cop beats him up goes to the precinct cracks the captain one right in the face and quits so then he goes for a workout at Tony Burton's gym you know Apollo Creed's training and Apollo Creed's trainer, Tony Burton, Cedric is his name, he's been doing charity work for The Mission. And that's a cult ran by the beautiful Brigitte Nielsen and her brother, the greatest quintessential bad guy in straight video action movie history, Matthias Fuchs. Well, that night they go in there, they murder Cedric. He was a boxer, Matthias Fuchs steals his belt, starts walking around with it, calls himself the champ. Don the Lolo. So he notices Jeff Wincott goes in the next day, not a cop anymore. But Rothrock, you know, not Rothrock, shame on this. Karen Shepard. You know, she lets him in, he checks it out, and he finds a flower. All the dumb cops in this neighborhood combed the building, couldn't find shit. He goes right to the busted punching bag, finds a flower that he sees on the news that Brigitte Nielsen is standing by at the mission. So the mission has a whole group of vigilantes called the peacekeepers who go and they, they keep the peace. They're beating up bad guys, murdering them in some cases. That's okay. Vigilanteism is good because, see, she wants to run for mayor. And she's also doing some dirty things and some blackmail and some murder to get land property. Doesn't, it, it's all secondary. It makes no sense. Jeb Wincott goes undercover. He has to go undercover in the gauntlet scene. With kendo sticks, oh holy shit! If you think I'm lying, go to YouTube. Type in Mission of Justice Gauntlet. One of the best scenes you'll ever see. He mows his way through. He finds out the dirty dealings, and he brings them down. Ninety minutes, eighty of it action. Maybe even eighty-four is action. We don't need no plot in Mission of Justice, the perfect movie. Now, if you can find it, once again. You gotta get the all region player. Get the all region player and find this. It's gonna be secondary, but it is Martial Law Trilogy 
It's one of those German media books. You can pick them up. It'll run you probably it'll run you close to hundred bucks. It's worth it. If somebody said you could have Mission of Justice on Blu-ray for two hundred dollars, it's worth it. This gives you all three. Now, Vinegar Syndrome, you can get uh, Martial Law 1 and 2. You can't get Mission of Justice, so you got to find that. So here's my advice to you. You can watch a shit bootleg of it. It's probably on YouTube. Well, I know Mission of Justice. Don't do that. Don't, don't be that guy. Get your, find your Martial Law 1 and 2 here in the States. Get your Mission of Justice. Get it Region 2. Look for the Blu-ray. Look for the Laserdisc. But look for it. I recommend the Blu-ray, and this is a nice-looking Blu-ray. I can't read anything in the notes, although I'm sure they're entertaining, but I'm telling you, Mission of Justice is the way to go. Once again, like, subscribe, tell your friends. You know, we got a, a, a video for the, the angel statue. Man, go watch the video. There's a contest in there to win one. Follow me on Whatnot. Get your chance to get comic books, memorabilia from movies, everything. If you followed me on whatnot, thank you. Now follow me, you get 10 bucks. Don't even have to spend it with me. Buy something else. Buy a Funko. I don't sell those. Anyway, Martial Law Trilogy is a must-own. You gotta get the Mission of Justice, trust me. Pick it up today.